Sloth. I'm Chronicles. <laughs> I'm Chronicles looking for a fluff. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. I wanted to be in the St. Patty's Day spirit, so I decided to wear green and make some corned beef and cabbage. On the note of cooking, I wanted to share some of my cooking with you. So I'm following a slow cooker corned beef and cabbage recipe that I used last year. I already started it this morning, but I wanted to share it with you anyway. So the slow cooker corned beef and cabbage. I'm reading here. Um, what you will need to do the slow cooker corned beef and cabbage is four medium red potatoes, unpeeled and cut into one inch pieces, four medium carrots cut into one inch pieces. I usually just use baby carrots. It's a lot easier. Just rinse them really quick and they're done. Um, you'll also need one medium onion cut into six wedges. One corned beef brisket with seasoning packet which needs to be two to two and a half pounds and then one can of or one 12 ounce can of beer or non-alcoholic beer in this case I actually used some beer I also used some beef broth um, because I have a fairly large slow cooker I used let's see two cans of beef broth, I used two cans filled with water, and then I topped it off with the beer. And then you're going to want a cabbage that you cut into eight wedges. And then you're also going to want to make a sauce for your numiness. And I used um, unsweetened applesauce and um, Dijon mustard. And you're going to want, like, I used extra. The recipe says a quarter cup of applesauce and two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I wanted to make some extra sauce, and these are four ounces, which is a half a cup. So I went ahead and doubled the recipe, which was a half a cup of applesauce and four tablespoons of Dijon mustard. It says to spray your five to six quart slow cooker. I don't know how big my slow cooker is. I just use it, whatever, with cooking spray. Um, then place the potatoes, carrots, and onions in the slow cooker. Top with the corned beef, sprinkle with the contents of the seasoning packet, and beer and enough water to just cover corned beef. Again, I used extra ingredients because I really want to make my dish taste really good. I pretty much always add extra stuff into everything I cook. I'm pretty good at cooking, at least I think I am. Um, so um, if you're following this, don't forget to add your beef broth. And then you're going to want to cover and cook on low heat for 10 to 12 hours. It smells really good in here. And then this, these are the steps that I'll go over with you guys. I haven't done them yet. I'm going to remove the corned beef from the cooker and place it on a serving plate. I um, can't remember how I did it last year. And, keep, and cover to keep it warm. Add the cabbage wedges to veggies and broth and cooker. Increase heat setting to high. Cover cook for 30 to 35 minutes. Um, or until cabbage is crisp and tender or crisp and tender? Crispy tender? Then make your your sauce, which I'll show you all that fun stuff. It says it makes eight servings. It says prep time is about 15 minutes. Total time to make is um, 10 hours and 15 minutes because it's in the slow cooker. This is a Betty Crocker recipe. All right, so there's my crock pot, all bubbly and nummy. Let's see inside of it. Oh, well, don't do that. Um, mix it a little. Anyways, see all the nummy mist in there. Yeah, 
I've been letting this cook for a long time today. So it's ready to come out. And then there's my cabbage that I need to cut up. So after you're all done cooking everything, you can put the corned beef back in there with the cabbage. Let it heat up for a moment. Um, because it does cool down a little and I like my food nice and hot. And it's so nummy. Ah, quite delicious. Some other stuff I added um, that were not in the recipe. Was, I added one bay leaf. I added some peppercorns. What else did I add? I don't remember. Um, oh, I added some extra um, mustard seeds. And coriander. What else? And some allspice. I think that was everything else that I added in there. Because I like to make recipes my own. And those I don't have measurements for. I just sprinkle a little in. So, and I also wanted to talk to you guys about doing a challenge and challenging your body to be the best that you can be. I have been exercising since January, you know, very, very frequently since January. And I decided that, you know, I'm two thirds of the way to being really healthy and really, you know, ripped. So, I decided to take an expert's advice. I will be using Jillian Michaels as my expert. And I'm going to do a 30 day challenge. Again, if you don't watch Dude Like Hella, go watch him. He's the person who inspired me to do a challenge. So, um, lately I have been busting my <coughs> trying to get ready for this challenge. And I've been using this really cool thing. It's called Hot Bod in a Box by Jillian Michaels. I've had it for a long time, never used it. I've had it for like two years. Um, and let me tell you, if you follow the workouts in this thing, in the circuits, you just take this to the gym with you, it will kick your ass. I am so sore every time I do one of these, but I feel great after I do it. Just remember, please stretch a lot. I also... Um, I also drink protein shakes because my muscles need to be able to recover from this kind of workout. And as soon as my book comes for the 30 day challenge, which is called um, Making the Cut, um, we'll be following the challenge and the results from that. One of the reasons I want to do this challenge, besides just, you know, feeling great and, you know, being motivated, yeah, is. Um, I really want to do a Tomb Raider parody. If you watched my last video, you know I love Tomb Raider. And I'm always, you know, she's my heroine. She's, uh, she's who I always wanted to be when I was younger. She's so awesome. So anyways, I'm going to do this hilarious Tomb Raider, but I don't want to be a chubby Tomb Raider. I need to be in great shape if I want to be Tomb Raider. <laughs> or if I want to be Laura Croft. So, that's Part of the reason, and the other reason, which I'm so happy about, is in May I'm going on vacation. Um, I'm going to be going to Vegas and staying at South Point Hotel. Um, yeah, it'd be great to stay on the Strip in Vegas, but you get such a good deal for staying off the Strip. Uh, it's uh, let's see. It's $49 a night to stay at South Point during the week and $79 a night during the weekend, so it's awesome. I really look forward to just relaxing. I'm going to sit by the pool, I'm going to read, get a massage, maybe do a little gambling. I don't gamble a lot, my husband does that more. Um, definitely going to go to a couple of clubs, enjoy the nightlife and uh, possibly catch a show and go window shopping. don't really have a lot of money to spend on shopping. Maybe a little bit. 
So I'm just so excited to go on vacation. I got a good amount of money back from my tax returns, so I'm pretty psyched about that. I'll be filming the whole vacation, or most of the vacation. Again, I forgot to say, the Tomb Raider parody will actually be doing this summer, so look for it then if you're interested. Um, the reason I want to do it this summer is because where I live, as you could see if you watched my last vlog, it gets freaking cold here, and I don't want to be wearing those skimpy shorts and a tank top in a freaking blizzard. So, we're waiting till summer to do this. <laughs> I have some really funny ideas. Um, I hope you guys are going to love it. I uh, have been brainstorming. If anyone has any ideas of things they would want me to put in a Tomb Raider parody, please feel free to write them in my comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot to say. If you like it, Please subscribe. <laughs> You'll see more of me and fluff once we find them. Bye.